Welcome back fellow gamers. I want to talk to you today about the Modern Masters and Eternal Masters series and how Wizards of the Coast is missing a perfect opportunity to help flesh out the story. So I kind of let it out of the bag so let's jump right in. <laughs> I think Wizards of the Coast should use Modern Masters, Eternal Masters, whatever Master series they're going to be coming out with to continue the storyline that's ongoing currently. Right now we're in the middle of a break between Aether Revolt and Amonkhet, and I'm kind of joshing for some story. Now, here's the thing, they have done in the past, like, updates, like, I remember there was like a Kiki Jiki one, I think during maybe the first Modern Masters, uh, and it was cool, but at the time I was like, ah, I don't really want to know what's going on with Kiki Jiki, I want to know what's going on with the story at large. And I think Wizards of the Coast can take the opportunity of a master set to help the jumping from one plane to another and, and hopping, using planeswalkers as a crux for the story. So if Jace needs to go to Kamigawa and then he needs to quickly go back to Innistrad and then he goes to Ravnica, those are things that can tie in with the cards that are being spoiled. I think that tying in spoilers with the stories for Modern Masters, Eternal Masters, really is an opportunity to give the story a fresh perspective on what it's like to be a, a planeswalker sometimes quickly jumping through planes so not just being bound to a plane for you know three months of storytelling and then you know jumping into another plane to have somebody be able to jump back and forth through planes can be conveyed in in story and especially if these new arts are getting commissioned for cards i think that's a perfect opportunity for those story pieces so if one of the planeswalkers like Nyssa meets a legendary creature that just happens to be in the next Modern Master set. Perfect. Have the flavor text for that. It, it continues the story uh, along. It evolves the story. So it's not just, oh, all of a sudden we're on Amonkhet. Tie those lines together between Aether Revolt and Amonkhet with something like the Modern Master series that's coming out in March. The break, the break sucks. <laughs> I don't like breaks in storytelling. I want to know what's going on. And more than that, I want to know what's going on relevant to the story now. While I I love Kiki Jiki, I'm just using that because that was the story that, that I had originally thought about. Like, oh, like they should tie everything in. It'd be cool. And we get those updates from, let's say, Kiki Jiki based on Kiki Jiki's interaction with a planeswalker. Uh, or maybe to see where the planeswalkers that will be part of the story later on. So like Karn, like we haven't heard about Karn in the longest time. Now, unless there's an intentional reason for Karn to be out of the story so long? Well, what, what's happening to Karn? Use this as a basis to reintroduce Karn into the story or just give people a heads up of what's going on. And I just think that that would be a really good way of tying things through. But I would really like to know what you think about this. Is the story through Modern Masters and Trail Masters something that you would be interested in? Or do you actually appreciate breaks in the storytelling that gives you time to recharge and refocus and concentrate on other aspects of magic? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear it. In the meantime, you can check out another one of my videos right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. It helps the channel out greatly, but it also lets you know when we upload new content and makes it so that you won't miss any of our uploads. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, good gaming.